I've recovered from a brain tumour. I care for my mother who has Parkinson's. And I would say it, both of those things have affected all aspects of our lives. One of the things with MS particularly is that it's a completely invisible condition that still manages to affect my entire family. Our project brings together people living with neurological conditions and university and community researchers. We aim to develop a better understanding of how to engage with people who are marginalised through their neurological condition uh, and both social deprivation more broadly. Courage brought together people through workshops and discussions. Hundreds of people have been engaged in, in a really short space of time. We wanted to understand the opportunities for research. We wanted to collaborate with people living with neurological conditions, their carers and relatives. We've also funded a play which looks to increase people's awareness and understanding of the invisible consequences of brain injury. I'm your sister Heather. I came to see you yesterday. Right. You don't remember? I can't seem to keep anything in my head at the moment. Do you know where you are? I've been staying in the hospital. And can you remember why? Yeah, car accident. Bike accident. We've identified many potential benefits of extending the Courage Network, in particular developing a, a collaborative network of, of important stakeholders. They include academics from Healthwatch Essex, university departments, service providers and through local branches of Headway Essex, the MS Society, MS UK and other local charities. I think it's important for people to know that an illness is not a disability, a disability is not an illness. They say it will come back. Well, some of it. Oh, I wish I could remember something, anything really. It will just take time. So I've cleared out some of the boxes in the spare room so you can stay. Anyway, things to do. Will, will you call tomorrow? Uh, I'll try, OK? I'll try. Nice to know. At least I've got somebody in the world who cares about me, at least. A, a sister. Well, that's something, isn't it? There's a genuine drive from university researchers to improve public engagement in a way that maybe they haven't been able to previously. To establish a sustainable network building on research into neurological conditions. An enhancement of the communication between professionals and those living with brain injury and illness in the community. The more people know, the more we can work together and get things better for all of us. Mm.